Oh, hey, what's going on, everybody? Um, I am finally going to try to get to this. Um, lately, I've been getting a lot of questions, um, either in comments or in uh, private messages, about um, my setup and or my nu the nutrients I've been using, you know, or things about the, my drip system or with the tent or about the fans or whatever. So I'm gonna break it down right now and make a few videos, a couple videos real quick about some of the nutrients and, or basically just answering some of those questions on the issues I just addressed. And um, so if you are not um, interested in hearing about my take on the nutrients and stuff like that, um, this might not really apply to a lot of people. Some of this may be a waste of time for you. Um, probably a lot of you guys are, you know, maybe better growers than I am or whatever. Anyways, um, and also I want to say first and foremost that a lot of my stuff I've learned from the uh, people here on the internet and here on YouTube, so especially I learned a lot from sub -LBC, so you will find a lot of similarities in my takes on things um, to what you may find on sub -LBC's channel because um, I have learned a lot from him. I think he's a fantastic grower and I encourage all of you guys to check it out if you haven't already. Um, anyways. <clears throat> Alright, here's some of the nutrients I have, um, and I have, you know, quite a bit, we'll just start, let's see, these things here are things that are used pretty much, I use pretty much, uh, or obviously solely in veg, and then I have these things, this next group here is a group that uses, is get, uh, both in veg, and I sometimes will use them in flour as well, but pretty much all of these combined will be used in veg at different points. But these might also get used in flour. But so let's start with um, most of my stuff. You'll find is Botanicare. I do have some other brands, um, but probably 80% of my stuff is Botanicare. So Pure Blend Pro Grow um, for veg, which I usually you know will run pretty much full. Well, depending, I'll start this right from the clones and uh, you know start it at like 10, run it all the way up to 25 milliliters a gallon sometimes. Every now and then I'll mix in the BioThrive. I bought this before I bought this. So I have this. I don't use it as often anymore. But every now and then I'll mix it up like on my mother plants. I used to mix these up, you know, once every week or so often. Just to, you know, give them some different stuff. Just got some different derivatives and whatnot. So, you know, plants seem to enjoy it. Super Thrive at one milliliter a gallon. Plants love it, obviously. Get your vitamins and your B1 supplement, hormones and whatnot. Uh, this is the Pure Blend um, Grow Formula. I don't know if any of you guys saw my um, video totally in the weights of the OG Kush Grow. Um, I talked about the Pure Blend Bloom Formula. This is the Grow Formula. Compost tea, um, all that stuff. This gets used. I use the compost tea in association with this. This will go in at anywhere between 5 to 15 milliliters per gallon. So if I'm running heavy on this, I'll go a little lighter on this or vice versa. Usually I'll try to push, put it at about, probably roughly at about 30 to 35 milliliters. For big, huge mother plants or big, nice veg plants, you know, 30, 35 milliliters total. So like maybe 20 milliliters of this, 10 milliliters of this, or, you know, whatever. But, um, you know, more of this, obviously, than this. Anyways, um, then these things I'll use in veg and in bloom sometimes. Um, tarantula, get beneficial is going in there. Um... Hygrozyme, get your enzymes, clear your shit out, clean it out. Um, those are really great products. CalMag Plus, I need this not too often, but I do use it every now and then. Um, my water's pretty, got a lot of shit in it. It comes out at about 200, sometimes 250 parts per million. So it's, this isn't really an issue. But I run it every now and then anyways. Um, silica Blast, uh, it's good to get the silicates. I'll put those in every now and then. Get silicates for uh, help out with the heat stress and just with general stress in the plants and whatnot. Um, this is a good product for that. Liquid Karma goes in just about with everything. Every time I use, use Pure Blend, um, both veg and in bloom, this Liquid Karma seems to go with it um, at about 8 to 10 milliliters a gallon or so. And that's just a uh, growth catalyst. Um, so that's kind of the stuff I use in um we'll be using in veg and then uh or yeah and then in bloom i get over here and uh i also use liquid karma a lot in bloom 
Liquid Karma will go with the, I got the Pure Blend Pro Bloom formula. Um, I actually have the, the Hydro Garden one. I don't have the one that's for soil cocoa, even though I grow in cocoa. I've been using this one for Hydro Gardens and it seems to work great. And uh, Pure Blend Pro Bloom compost tea. The three of those together for Liquid Karma. It's a great combo. The plants seem to love it. And uh, so then sometimes when I go to finish off the last few weeks of the plants, a lot of times I'll switch over, or I will always switch over to CNS 17 Ripe. And then sometimes I'll finish them with the Hydroplex. And sometimes I'll finish them, um, I have some Cha-Ching that, Fox Farm Cha-Ching that uh, Speed Yosh, user Speed Yosh was nice enough to let me, and you guys should check out his channel. Um, also if you haven't, he's an excellent grower. and. Uh, He's got a lot of great info to share, so check that out if you haven't already. So, um, and then I run the Fox Farm additives with these. So I'll run like in Bloom, I'll go Pure Blend Pro Bloom, a little bit of compost, um, the Growth Catalyst Liquid Karma, and then I'll come in like with Beastie Blooms if we're in like week four or whatever. If we're in week two, I'll come in with the Open Sesame. If we're finishing off, come in with the Cha-Ching, you know? And then towards the end, um, I've got, I do use the General Hydroponics Floor Nectar as a sweetener, and I love it. I like it better than the Botanicare Sweet. Um, I just like the products in it better. Um, it just works great. The aroma of all my plants has been fantastic. I just have no, zero complaints with it, so I really like that. So that's what I use pretty much for um, my plants, typically. My main grows, like in the tent, and my uh, clones and shit that I take care of. My mothers, which are not in operation right now, but they'll be back up soon at some point. But, uh, yeah, so that's basically how I break those down. Um, these over here, I also have, these I use on my outdoor plants. I use, you know, the uh, Fox Farm Big Bloom, Fox Farm Tiger Bloom, and then I use the Fox Farm additives as well. Basically just the Fox Farm line. Even though I have noticed, I don't know if it's new or if I just never noticed it before, but they have a, Fox Farm has a couple new things out. I can't remember what they both are, but one of them was like a, a beneficial microbes for your, uh, or microbe brew or something like that. Beneficial microbes for, for your uh, soil. And I can't remember what the other one was, but uh, Bushmaster, some type of Bushmaster product or something. I don't know, I can't remember. Anyways, I just run that, that, and that usually in soil, either in the Fox Farm Ocean Forest or the Happy Frog or whatever. So, uh, and that works great for the outdoor plants. Then this over here, actually just started an experiment with, so I'll be showing that to you guys at some point here. But um, it's the cash crop lineup. Almost every product, I'm missing one product. But I won this. Some of you guys may have seen this in my older, one of my older videos, but I won all this stuff. Um, it's the base newts, Shiva A and B. Um, let's see, the veg would be start with Amino Grow, which is the enzymes, root and grow stimulator. And then it's got Sumo, which is a flower and bud booster, and Bud Boost, which is a bud and bloom stimulator. So, and then also got Cobra, which is similar to um, Tarantula. So anyways, um, I won this, we won this line in a raffle, which was pretty awesome, and I've uh, been wanting to do an experiment, and I just started, got one up. So um, I'll get show you guys that shortly. I want to kind of gather my thoughts on that before I show it to you guys. But uh, yeah, you know, these are pretty much it. Oh yeah, I have two more here. I also have um, Sensi Bloom A, Sensi Bloom B, uh, just like from the Sub LBC, uses, I use these for Rockwell Prep. Um, 15 milliliters of each in a five gallon bucket that's full to prep a full bucket and pH it down to 5.5 for a rock bowl prep but um, and then so other than that I got a little bit of AN you know that with the tarantula or whatever got the cash crop lineup lots of fox farm stuff one general hydroponics thing lots of botanicare and the one uh, general organics so uh, you know and some mixed products so you know quite a bit of different nutrients that's my take on it um, I hope that helps somebody out there and uh, if anybody has any questions or comments please please feel free to uh, shoot them my way all right uh, thanks a lot for checking it out later